Also, I think the cars are set to realistic and not equal, so we are on the back foot a little bit. What's going on, everybody? This is Boon Jim and Bok Choy bringing you another F122 video. And as you can see from the uh, cam audio there, we are in a race with the car settings set to realistic and not equal. So we are going to be on the back foot a little bit. So we managed to get into the short qualifying round with just about five minutes left to go. So I managed to get one lap in. Uh, while the other guys had two or three laps uh, in the short qualifying round, but we still managed to qualify on pole. And I just wanted to put this warm-up lap here just to ponder the question, why do some people stay so damn close on the formation lap and warming up the tires? Now, the first like half of Jetta is really twisty and turny. Um, there's not really too much straights on on this track here. So I expected these guys to drop back a little bit to allow me to properly warm up my tires. But take a look at the rear view mirror here. These guys are right on my ass, making it almost impossible to slow down um, for fear of one of those guys ramming into the back of me and then potentially blaming it on me and then just ramming me out in the race. But look at this. Why are these guys so close? Guys, stay back. I don't know why this idiot is so close behind me. Guys, stay back, man. I don't understand why you're so. Why some <laughs> yeah, of these I, was, like, I, I need got pretty upset during to the. come so close to my gearbox to during the actual formation lap. Um, yeah, a couple little cuss words in there. That's fine though. Uh, but here we are, start of the race. Didn't get to warm my tires all that great because these, these those guys were like right on my rear wheels. Um, so off we go. I'm not a great race starter anyway as you can see you get a lot of wheel spin there and uh, we lose a position to one red bull and then coming out of turn two we lose another position to the second red bull and uh, i'm not gonna waste my battery here waste all your drs boys i meant to say waste all your ers um but you can get what i'm saying here so um we're just gonna allow these guys to go off during qualifying they were kind of slow anyway even with three laps or so in the short qualifying run we managed to come in right at the end of the qualifying session and managed to out-qualify both of them anyway. I'm not really sure if the second Mercedes is an AI car or not, but the title of the video is Letting Everybody Else Lose Their Race or Lose the Race for You, <laughs> as you can see right there. First Red Bull doesn't take that turn all that great. We managed to stick on the tail of the second Red Bull. He boxed a lap before this, so here we are coming into the uh, pit lane on the start of lap six here to do our pit stop. And just keep an eye on the mini map down there, the Red Bull rounding the final corner. As we set off out of our pit box, you can see the yellows are out. Crashed in the last corner. Yep, and uh, that was pretty much it, guys. We didn't really do much. We just pressured the cars in front of us. We knew we were, fa we were faster than them anyway. No need to push. Save up our battery. Uh, I think I still had like 100% battery by the time ER uh, DRS was enabled. Uh, and by the end of the race here, we dumped... 23 seconds on the first Red Bull and the second Red Bull. I'm not sure if he quit or not, but the AI Mercedes managed to get out in front of him. So, yeah, here you guys go. When I when I talk about letting other people lose the race for themselves, um, this is what I'm talking about. Just no need to push super early on in the race. Uh, from qualifying, I knew I was faster than them, so there was no need to really waste all my battery trying to overtake them in the first lap. If they get out in front of me at the start of the race, whatever, I, I just let them go and, and save my resources for when we actually uh, want to push. Now, as long as you stay close enough, most of these guys are going to make mistakes. Um, this is just open lobbies. Obviously, it's not a league race. In a league race, the, the driving standards are a little bit higher, so you're not going to be able to get away with this. But if you're just going to be racing online, um, doing random online races, or even if you're in a league where the competition isn't super, super um, tough, you can probably uh, drive a little bit more conservatively and let other people make mistakes. Uh, people are going to drive aggressively trying to make trying to make a positions on that first lap or two, uh, and they're going to make mistakes. So, so long as the leaders aren't going uh, getting too far ahead of you, you should be able to make a comeback, just like we did here. Uh, we let those two Red Bulls go, and literally before sector two, one of them um, spins out, and then the other one spins himself out or crashes out uh, when we went into the pit lane. So that is the first example there. Nice and short, guys. We're going to go into race number two. <coughs> All right, guys, we're going into a race at Bahrain. I think we're missing qualifying here, so we're probably going to start at the back. 
All right, guys, so here we are at the start of the race. We are in P6, second to last place here. Um, start of the race was not that bad for us. Uh, the Ferrari just did not get off the grid, and then he goes back in right as we are about to hit him. Um, the connection is pretty bad. I think it's got to be because I'm on the east coast of the U.S., and most of these guys are racing in Europe. So although I do complain about connection here, um, I'm not sure what it really is. Do. Maybe the host just has really bad connection as we get hit by the Ferrari. Ferrari takes us in the Red Bull out as well. Uh, yeah, I... I, we got I hit have, from behind right away. I have fiber optic service, and it's um, 500 megabytes up, 500 megabytes down. So uh, generally don't have a problem with connection, even racing uh, with people from Europe. And I, I don't know why today of all days the connection is poor, as there is a Haas off the track there. Uh, we And he gets plopped right back in, in the middle of the track, right in front of us. I, I, I don't know why auto reset is on. Um, but yeah, as you can see, connection is not that great. Uh, in the race, I didn't realize that everybody's connection was bad, so I'm not sure if it's the host or if it's me. Um, but uh, yeah, connection is really bad with everybody. So we have to drive a little bit even more conservative conservative now this than we normally do. dude's got terrible connection as I bitch about connection, even though it's probably most likely my fault. Um, so yeah, the Red Bull is behind us, trying to get out in front of us, um, but I'm trying to stay back a little bit just because connection issues with other cars, um, and I don't know if the Red Bull doesn't realize that or if maybe he sees that I'm the only one with bad connection. I'm not quite sure, but he's still driving very, very aggressively, uh, and we do have the straight line speed on the Ferrari. We're not burning battery, and we were gaining on him. So here, I attempted to try and get out in front of him by burning a little bit of battery. Um, normally, I wouldn't, but because the Red Bull is so close behind me, uh, I, I decided to be a little bit more aggressive than I normally am. But as you can see, the Ferrari is pulling away, actually, so he's probably using battery as well. Coming into turn one, it's a little bit cleaner than it was on the first lap. Ferrari has a little bit of a moment there, but manages to keep it on the track, and the Red Bull is still running behind us now once again remember the theme is letting other people make mistakes uh, so we are driving as conservatively as possible wanting to save our resources for the end of the race use a bit of battery there just to try and stay close to this ferrari and stay ahead of the red bull and luckily for us the ferrari makes our job much much easier as he goes off um, but the red bull is still on our gearbox here so we can't relax just yet uh, going into turns 9 and 10. I don't know, just could not hit that properly as the McLaren in front of us goes back into the corner for a moment there as well. Uh, yeah, like I said, I normally don't have connection issues even when racing against people from Europe. So this has got to be like a, a, a host issue, and not just me. Um, I have fiber optic service to the house, so it's it's really not that slow. Um, thought about diving it down the inside there, but the McLaren, who went wide, swipes right back down, and then the Red Bull gets a better exit than we do. Um, All right, Red Bull, you want to burn your battery? Go ahead. And he wants to get out in front of us uh, more than we want to be out in front, so I just let the Red Bull go. We're down to about 60% battery right now. I don't want to use up any more. Uh, as it is only lap two right now, and I know that the McLaren should be an easy overtake, so I'm not going to burn my battery to get out in front of him unless a good opportunity comes up. Now, because they go in uh, wheel to wheel into turn one, there kind of compromises the McLaren, who goes off. He comes back on track. We have to give him the space there, uh, but we get a better exit than he does, and we have DRS. So I'm going to use the battery now to get out in front of him. I don't think the McLaren has DRS, or if he did, he didn't open it up, as you can see in the rear view mirror. So we managed to get out. Um, front of the McLaren the first overtake um, on track that we actually performed uh, with some sort of skill involved I suppose uh, but you'll see that's not going to happen quite so often in this race so now we are in P4 the Red Bull is still out in front of us I assume he's burning battery because he is gapping us a little bit he did seem to have a little bit of pace um, but I think he's burning a little bit more battery than we are right now so having to use a little bit more battery to try and stay close to him i thought about using uh, all my battery to stay within drs but i realized that the haas out in front uh, is actually kind of slow we've been closing the gap to the haas so sooner or later we will get drs once again as you can see we just gained about half a second to the haas just in those last few corners right there so i'm not going to use uh, any battery to try and get back within drs here because these two are going to be fighting they'll slow each other down and then eventually we'll catch up to the haas anyway so no need to use battery to get within drs as you can see right now yeah we are only about um half a tenth 
or we were about half a tenth behind going into the DRS detection, but I chose not to use uh, any um, battery to get back to DRS. Now, coming around into turn one once again, and this is what I mean, guys. People try and push way too hard too early in the race. The Red Bull should have overtaken that Haas very easily, but because he was pushing a little too hard coming out of turn one there, he spun out and lost um, a couple of, well, just one position, actually. He only lost a position to us. Um, now he lost a position to the McLaren. Um, but yeah, he could have been up in P3, and now he is back down in P4 fighting the uh, other two cars behind us. Now, this Haas, you can see, the way his the front end is just jerking left and then straight left straight left straight this guy is definitely a pad user and you'll hear me mention something about it this guy's on controller yeah so it's a um that jerkiness to the front end is a telltale sign that the guy in front is using a controller and he's not really that good on the controller um i'm surprised he's only seven seconds down to p1 <laughs> driving the way that he is right now so we're going to just not do anything too aggressive here. DRS zone is about to come up. As you can see, it's not too difficult to stick on his gearbox here. So we're going to wait until the DRS zone to overtake. Uh, and we managed to close up a little bit coming out of the final corner here as well. Three tenths, two and a half tenths to him right now. We're gaining on him before we even hit the DRS zone. Fucking idiot. Fuck you, you dumbass. <laughs> Sorry about that, boys and girls and all the children listening. Um, yeah, I try to be as nice as possible to a lot of uh, to everybody that I meet online. But when you're doing something stupid like that, um, just makes me lose my cool. So uh, good thing my channel isn't monetized or else I would have lost some money on that. But I'm not making any money off of this stuff anyway. So we come out of the pits um, 5.4 seconds behind Maddox, who is provisional P1 right now. Or net P1, I should say. Um, Necky. The Haas in P1 hasn't boxed yet, so he still has to make another pit stop. And luckily for us, he is slowing down Maddox. Now, we weren't gaining on Maddox before we boxed anyway, so um, I figured we did have a chance of winning still, even if the Haas wasn't out in front, with about six and a half laps left to go, including this one. And the gap is about six seconds. I think the gap was about 7.2 or 7.3 when we went into the... Or, or when um, Maddox went into the pit lane, um, and now that we both made our tire changes, he is about 5.8. So by lap 12, we've closed the gap down to about 3 seconds now. I think I should have gone a little bit higher on my tire pressures, as you can see, we're only in the low 90s. Uh, but coming into turns 9 and 10 here, we just hit about under 3 seconds, and there's about 2.5 laps left to go. I think there's still an opportunity to catch um, P1 here, but as we make the turn, uh, turn 10 here, the Mercedes is spun around Oops. on track and we managed to take the lead. From here on out, it was just driving as conservatively, safely, and efficiently as possible and just maintaining that lead. But boys and girls, this is a perfect example of letting other people lose the race for themselves. I think I only made two overtakes on track two legitimate overtakes on track every other overtake that happened was because the car in front either spun out went wide or crashed themselves out or something like that and this is why i always say drive conservatively if you know i mean i knew that i was faster than these guys i saw their qualifying qualifying lap times the only one i wasn't quite sure of was 21 the guy in the red bull he seemed pretty quick uh, although he could have been using a lot of battery at the beginning of the race but i think if he wasn't so aggressive he probably would have won this race uh, as he spun out in turn one i think lap four um, with his pace he probably would have been able to pass um, the Haas that was in front of him, the guy that drove into us. Although I think later on in the race that Haas actually drove into 21 and slowed him down as well as he lost a whole bunch of time when he cut off to that Haas. But yeah, I think the Red Bull probably would have won if he was just a little bit smarter. He definitely had the pace and he looked to be a little bit quicker than us. But like I said, I think he might have been using battery. But if he drove a little bit um, smarter, he probably would have won the race. But instead he spun out uh, turn one and pretty much gave us the position and then from then on out it was just an easy easy race for us so here as you can see coming around the final corner of the track and on the last 
lap, we managed to get the Mercedes or the second Mercedes by 3.3 seconds and literally did absolutely n the bare minimum to win this race. <laughs> I'm so excited after everybody crashed Ooh. themselves out. Is it hot in here? Yeah, that was a really, <laughs> really, uh, really hot day in the apartment for some that reason. That is the moron sweating. that decided to defend by driving into everybody. There you go. I'm going to flame you for a little bit. I'd love to take a look at the replay. Uh, but that's it for us, guys. Uh, if you think I've earned it, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Remember to eat bok choy. I'll see you in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed.